Good day learners and welcome to our videos relating to Microsoft Excel. Um, as you can see, I'm using the Office 2016 package and in this video, we're going to be looking at the basics around Microsoft Excel. So when you go into Excel, when you actually open Excel as an application, um, like we saw with Word, it comes up as a blank spreadsheet. Now, the first thing we need to know is that we have what's known as a workbook and a sheet okay a worksheet now these sheets over here at the bottom these represent pages inside of your workbook so when you think of the workbook think of the entire file and think of the worksheet as the individual pages inside of that workbook okay so that's just the general layout when we look at the top and we're going to work from the top you'll see this is more or less the same as we've seen in word uh, we've got our save button here which saves the changes to our existing uh, file we've got the normal buttons like file as we've seen previously um, home insert all of this content in the ribbon is more or less laid out in the same way as we saw in word however what we see under the ribbon is this section over here now you'll notice that excel deals with these letters and these numbers Okay. These numbers represent rows, which move horizontally, and we have our columns, which are represented vertically by the letters. Now, what you'll notice is that if I click in this cell, right? if I click in that cell, you'll see it represented up here. This is what's known as a cell reference. It matches up a column to the particular row to tell you exactly where I am. And this is going to be very important um, when we go into further sections of Excel. So when we think of a cell reference, if I tell you, for example, let's click in cell E5, we go E and we can go down to 5 there. And to make sure that we are in E5, we can do this two ways. You'll see E is highlighted and the number 5 is highlighted. In the top right, uh, so, sorry, top left hand corner, you'll see there it says E5. So that tells us exactly where we are. You can see as I click around, um, the name box does change. And in this bar over here, this is our formula bar. This is when we start using functions, um, which are little calculations. We'll actually be able to see everything in there. Then another important thing um, before we finish this up on the basics is if I click on my mouse, if I left click, and I actually highlight a few cells, you'll see now that I've got C3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 highlighted, but column D is highlighted as well. This is now what's known as the range. So remember, the individual um, cells I'll get to from my cell reference. So when I click in it, I get an individual cell reference. But the minute I've got more than one highlighted, it now becomes a range. So they could say to you in the exam, uh, for example, highlight the range E4 to G8. So I'd go to E4 and I highlight all the way until I get, okay, column G and then row 8. And that will be my range E4 to G8. Uh, some of the other basics are just things like your font category over here. So if I, for example, type in my name and I say Johnny, uh, you can see here I've got things like making the text bold. I can make it italic, more or less the same as we've seen um, in Word as well. So all of that has remained basically the same. Uh, these other options we will go through in later videos. So there we have our columns, there we have our rows, we have our different menu tabs on top. And like I said, at the bottom, we've got the names of the different sheets that we have inside of our workbook. Um, saving it, so you'll see save, save as is still the same. We've, we still have our templates over here as well. Um, but those are just the basics to get you started on Microsoft Excel. Thank you.